In this video, we will show how you can use CBOT set files. In brief, CBOT set files are containers for storing and reusing certain instance settings and parameter values for CBOTs. The easiest way to access this functionality is to simply add a new CBOT instance. Upon choosing a CBOT, CTrader will display an Add Instance window where you will be able to customize its parameters. To see the parameters of an existing instance, right-click on it and select Modify Parameters. For quicker access, you can also simply double-click on an instance. We will modify some parameter values to suit our risk tolerance levels. To store the current instance parameters in a separate file, click on the Save icon in the upper right corner of the window. CTrader will prompt you to create a new CBOT set file with its name containing the name of your algo as well as the symbol and the timeframe to which the chosen instance is attached. After modifying the file name, we confirm our choice. To apply our newly generated file, we will delete the existing instance of the chosen CBOT and attach a new one to the same chart. In the Add Instance window we can click on the Open icon to open the File Selection dialog. In it, we choose the file we had saved earlier. As you can see, the parameter values of the new instance now match those we had specified in the CBOT set file. We can freely apply these settings and click on Run, with the CBOT now acting according to the preset. This makes CBOT set files a highly convenient method for ensuring that different instances of the same algo behave exactly the same. Note that CBOT set files also contain information about the symbol and timeframe of the chart to which a CBOT instance is attached. To showcase this, we will switch to a different chart and create a new instance of the same CBOT. When defining initial parameters, we will once again apply our CBOT set file. As you can see, CTrader displays a warning window stating that the file was created for a different chart. If we choose to continue, the parameter values will be substituted with those from the file. However, the instance will still be attached to its original chart. We can also create an instance of a completely different CBOT and attempt to apply the same CBOT set file. CTrader will then warn us that there is a parameter mismatch between the two CBOTs. Before proceeding further, we will take a brief look at how CBOT set files are structured. While it has a fancy extension, the file can be opened in any plain text editor such as the basic notepad. If we open the file, we should see a sequence of key value pairs. We can adjust the values as we see fit, making CBOT set files easily modifiable even outside of CTrader. Using CBOT set files can save a lot of time and effort in several cases. Most notably, CBOT set files can contain parameter values that you have attained as a result of CBOT optimization. As optimization is all about finding the best parameter values for a given algo, you may want to reuse optimization results for as many new instances as possible. To demonstrate how it works, we will switch to the Optimization tab, enable the auto selection of a pass with the best results, click on Run and wait until the process is finished. From here, we have two options for saving the parameter values from our currently selected pass. The first one would be to switch to the Pass Parameters tab and click on the Save Parameters button. The second one would be clicking on the Apply button in the row with our selected pass. After the parameters are updated, we can click on the Save icon in the Parameters section to save them. Whatever option you use, you now should be able to freely reuse the file with optimization results for any of the new instances of the same algo. CBOT set files also save time when working with algos that have a large number of parameters. In these cases, it may be difficult to configure each new instance manually. If we create an instance of a CBOT we have prepared for this video, we will see a long list of parameters. 
Luckily, we have a preset that we can freely apply to configure an instance in the matter of seconds. When working with algos you may have several configurations of parameters for achieving different results. In this case, you can use cbotset file to quickly switch between these settings. This is often useful when operating a CBOT that has profit or stop loss levels as parameters. We have prepared such a bot in advance and attached it to several different charts. Before launching our instances, we can modify the parameters of each one and apply different CBOT set files containing various settings for position protection mechanisms. CBOT set files are also fully compatible with the CTrader CLI tool. When using the run command in CTrader CLI, you have a number of configurable options that allow you to specify several mandatory and optional settings, most notably the CBOT you would like to launch or the symbol you would like to run it on. To make sure that your CBOT launches with parameters from a certain CBOT set file, simply specify the path to this file immediately after the path to the algo file containing the CBOT. Following this, you can define other necessary arguments including your CTrader email, the path to the file containing your password, the number of your trading account, and the symbol and timeframe on which the CBOT should run. After you execute the command, the bot will start operating using the parameter values from the chosen file. Knowing how to work with CBOT set files is a valuable skill for any algo trader who wants to maximize the performance of their algos. If you want to learn more about algo trading in CTrader, subscribe to our YouTube channel.